going on everyone welcome back to another video if you don't know who i am that means you're new i'm mark what's good with y'all go check out my other videos check them out check them out but first stay on this one so this is kind of an interesting topic right so i've kind of touched on this on certain videos when i'm talking about any form of optics really but i haven't done a video solely giving my reasons why i feel this way so you guys read the th you guys read the thumbnail great job you guys saw the thumbnail you read the title see i knew i was going to slip up again one of these days but you guys saw the thumbnail you read the title should a beginner start with iron sights or a dot for their pistol or i might have put a dot or iron sights for their pistol i can't remember exactly how i worded it but the point is you guys get the point okay i don't want to feel dumb here you guys get the point but moving on from that let's talk about it right so there are some pros and cons to both iron sights and handgun dots and some people might be wondering whether or not what's right for them. You know, they're new. They don't know. They don't have too much experience, right? I would recommend iron sights more than a dot. And there's a couple of reasons why I say that. And, and it's not just because of the fact that you have to go out of your way to buy the dot as well, unless it already comes on the gun, which some guns do come with the dot. Uh, yes, some guns do come with the dot. Some guns don't. But my entire point is that that's not even the main reason. That is a reason, but not the main reason. When you buy your gun, it already, traditionally at least, it should already come with iron sights on it. You should already be able to aim your gun and get some practice in with it, which is the most important thing that you need to be able to do with your firearm. You need to be able to practice with it. You need to be able to handle it right out the box and do so proficiently. And that's what practice is for. If you're sitting here worrying about, oh, well, Especially if they're a beginner, you know they're not going to be able to throw their own dot on correctly. So they're going to have to send it off to somebody who does it, or they're going to put it on incorrectly. Uh, they're probably never going to learn how to zero it properly. There's a lot of there's a lot of inconveniences that come with dots that all in all are negated when it comes to using iron sights as a beginner. Now, am I saying that you know beginners should never progress from iron sights to a dot in any capacity? I'm not saying that at all. I mean. You guys just saw I did a review on a green dot. But all I'm simply saying is that beginners' iron sights seem more friendly just out of the box. We're not even talking about price point-wise. We're not talking about easy or ease of use. We're not talking about any of that yet. We haven't even touched that topic. Now, price-wise, it's obviously going to be much cheaper for you unless the dot already comes on the gun. It's probably going to be much cheaper for you to just stick with your iron sights for a bit. <clears throat> a good dot can run you anywhere from two to $400. You know, some people might even look at the $200 dots and be like, nah, it's too cheap for me. Handgun dots are not cheap. They really aren't. And if you don't have much experience with them, just getting one as a beginner is gonna be one of the most tedious things you've had to deal with for a while because you've never learned how to zero anything. You've never learned how to install it. I mean, it's not hard to install, but my whole point is that it just is gonna be one pain after another, another hassle after another, after another. It's something you don't really wanna deal with. But the thing is, is that with iron sights, you don't have to deal with it. Yeah, sure, some companies, you know, depending on which company you're going through, they might give you some awful iron sights. That's true. However, with the majority of firearms, you can also change out the iron sights. So there, in the end, I, I know this video is not going to be super long, but it just seems like a more, I guess, obvious reasoning. You know, it just seems like there's better reasoning to choose iron sights over a handgun dot for beginners. I'm aware that everybody has their own situation. Oh, well, maybe I have a hard time getting, you know, quick alignment of my sights. Uh, you know, a dot is a little better for me. Okay, yeah, sure. There are varying situations. And of course, you are your own individual. Each person has their own individual needs. Not hating on that. But generally speaking, it seems like it's going to be much better for a beginner just due to the fact that you're not spending anywhere near as much money. Because once again, unless a dot comes on the gun, you're worried about spending much more money. You're worried about, let me see here, your dot breaking as well. Iron sights traditionally aren't going to break. You know, there, there are some examples where, yeah, you can break them after a good while of using them and a good, good, good beat up on them. However, 
they're probably not going to break as easy as a dot would. Now, of course, if it's a good, durable dot, yeah, that probably shouldn't break either. I'm not saying that all dots will break. I'm saying, though, that that's something you may have to deal with. Your dot can die. Your iron sights can't die. You see what I mean? They're still there. <sighs> all in all, for beginners, iron sights are going to be your best bet. And not to mention, it's best how to learn with the basics anyways. Because in a situation, like, in a sh it's a fan situation. You're not going to be worried about getting batteries for your dot. I'm sorry, but that should be the least of your concern. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, once my dot dies in a shit's a fan situation, it's garbage. I don't know. That's just me, though. With that being said, I think that about wraps it up for this video. Y'all make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that bell. When you hit that bell, hit all. And whether or not you agree with me, I want to hear down below why or why not. I want to hear why you might not believe that iron sights are better for beginners for their handguns than a dot. I want to know. But with that being said, y'all make sure to check out all my other videos. Y'all make sure to stay legal, stay safe, stay dangerous. Have a good one, y'all. Peace.